Low tide in Washington State's Puget Sound. Ideal time to set up an experiment. This is where they like to live. Researchers installed stakes in seven different locations to count how many oyster larvae settle on shells during summer. They'll also monitor the pH levels or acidity of the water. Shellfish use calcium carbonate to build their shells, and so the idea is, is that as the pH lowers, the stability of calcium carbonate over time reduces. Their goal is to better understand how excess carbon dioxide produced by human activity is affecting shellfish. Ocean acidification threatens wild shellfish and the $184 million shellfish industry in Washington. But in a fjord named Hood Canal, a possible solution is being tested. Using kelp, commonly known as seaweed, kelp is made up of scores of organisms that use carbon dioxide to grow. So scientists want to farm it. Yeah, yeah. All right. oh, lovely sound. Oh, look at that. After growing kelp seedling in a lab. That, let's, let's go ahead and tie it right in. 50 yard long ropes were installed. As the kelp matures, scientists will monitor the water's chemistry. We know the reactions, but we don't know if they scale to be significant in nature. Kelp farms are not common in the United States outside of Maine, where it's harvested for food, fertilizer, and other uses. And I feel that it's an opportunity to, um, to basically diversify into another part of the aquaculture. But this is what we're looking for. And this is what we think the lines, what we have, will look like hopefully in a few months. If the kelp farms are successful in lowering the acidity, it could provide help for fertile estuaries like the Puget Sound, which are important for shellfish industries. We know that this isn't a solution on a global scale, but can we make a difference on a local scale that buys us some time? Time that may be crucial because ocean acidification is expected to worsen, leaving the world's seas at risk. Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.